to Marco Mines, helping each other. They say the greatest gift is the gift of giving, and the person that I'm sitting down with today is the epitome of selfless um, and goes out of their way to go above and beyond to help all those in our community. She is just the burst of energy and enthusiasm that we all need to hear today on how we as a community on Marco Island can help those that have been hugely affected by the COVID pandemic. And immediately, what can we do in order for donation, times, um, what can we do to help? So today I'm sitting down with Alison Richards, originally from New Jersey, longtime Marco resident. Um, as I researched Alison, I just want to explain a few words that were used to describe her. Angel, compassion, understanding, willingness, intelligent, dedicated, amazing, hero. Her accolades are impeccable, including awards of Spirit of Marco, Humanitarian of the Year, Volunteer of the Year, Women of Initiative Awards, to mention a few. Who better to give us some advice as a community on where the greatest need is right now. I am so blessed to have the opportunity to sit down today with our one and only Alison Richards. Hi, welcome to Marco Minds Helping Each Other. And today I'm sitting down with Alison Richards. Um, Alison is gonna give us her opinion on how we as a community can help uh, due to the impact of the COVID virus on Marco Island. Alison, what, your, what is your advice at this time to the community on how they can help? Well, thank you for asking and thank you for having me. There is this fund through the Community Foundation. It's called Call Your Strong, I believe. And it's right now we have a Marco piece of it. And it's coordinated through the YMCA, Our Daddy Bread Food Pantry, and the Chamber. I'm also on the committee. And we are getting cash in, and we have taken in 85 applications in the last week for people needing assistance, such as utilities, rent, childcare, um, the Marco Patriots are helping a lot with food cards. The Salvation Army is giving out cards. But this is people, these are people who are coming in saying, I need something right now. My rent is due. My, and I know no one can foreclose, but these people don't want all of it. And we can't give them everything because we don't have enough money. But the demand is huge. And there are people, there are waitresses and our waiters and our, our bus people and the people, all the people who are out of work right now, they don't have any money and they need to pay these bills and they're scared. And I think that's the best way we can help anyone right now is to give to that, that foundation. Or they can give, drop it off at the Y, or they can drop money off at the chamber and it will all go to this. And I think that's the best place. We're helping a lot of people right now. We helped probably about 45 already. We had 85 applications last week asking for assistance. That's incredible. And it's just, it's wonderful to be able to help directly within the community, the yes. people that need it most where yes. the demand is. And that's it's people who lived on Marco or Goodland or worked in Marco or Goodland. So they could live someplace else, but as long as they worked in the last month or so before they were laid off in Marco or Goodland, they're eligible. And there are all these probably people that we know within the community yes. that have worked all their lives to make Marco what it is yes. for us and for people that come to visit and enjoy the and island. And the people who take care of us. Absolutely. The haircutters and the, I know. you know, all the hairdressers. I yes, absolutely. And now, Alison, could you tell us a little bit about Al's Pals? Sure. We are what um, the Blue Zones referred to me as a web weaver. So it's Alison Richards and Lorraine Corva. We started it together and that's Al's Pals. And we, what we do is we work with many organizations to make them better. So for instance, our daily bread food pantry, we are their distribution arm. We run their mobile food pantries every Friday or if we have one on a Wednesday or a Thursday. We are the arm that does it. My husband bought me, instead of a diamond ring, he bought me a trailer. And um, we have a great trailer where we, we haul everything in. And I have, we have wonderful volunteers who the only thing we ask of our volunteers is to make everyone feel special. We've worked with the Alliance for Period Supplies where we give out feminine products. We, people let us know when they need um, furniture, beds. We, we have so many people in our community, uh, maybe not in Marco, but just outside within 10 minutes who have never had a bed. We had a little girl who was 10 years old one time who had never had a bed. And we were able to deliver a bed and uh, blankets and a pillow. And you'd think that this little girl, she clung to me and cried the first time she could sleep by herself. And this happens all the time for us. So we take some furniture, depending on the need, or if you have a washer or dryer, we'll try to, they're a little heavy for me, but I can get them. 
and but I always wait until we somebody asks me or if you tell me you have it I'll go ask and but not always does anyone need it but dressers and all those things these people live in little tiny places they don't have any room for that hard to believe that this is happening just so close Absolutely. to the island and there's so many ways that we can all Absolutely. help. And of late, I know Al's Pals had a tremendous event just this past week in regards to mask and distribution. Um, how did that all go for you, Alison? Well, my husband was the brains behind it. I'm just the brawn and, and he came up with the idea and I worked with the city of Marco Island and they were fabulous from Chief Murphy to Chris Byrne to the city manager, police chief, Everyone jumped in to work together, and it was amazing. We gave out to at least 2,300 cars. And so we gave out a total of 20, maybe 29,000 masks, because we had about 1,000 left. And we've given those to different places on the island, like the Publix and the Winn-Dixie, and the Island Country Club, and Condi, and just all kinds of people who always are there to help everybody else. Well. We can't thank you enough as a community. The reason why I asked to speak with you today is I knew you'd be an excellent resource on what we can do immediately to try to help. Thank you. And thank you for all that you do and you're a blessing to all, all of us. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you.